Hello, hello and welcome to you Librans. Hello, welcome to your horoscope for the first month of the year. The first month, January of 2013. It's the month of putting our good intentions, if you like, and uh, to spend some time on that. But for Librans, it's a bit different. It's not a month of, um, of course, it can be a month of putting your intentions and all of that. But uh, I think it's going to be uh, a way more uh, joyful and pleasant month for um, Librans. And why is that? Well, first of all, uh, there is a, a lot happening, especially in the beginning of the, of the month, there's a lot happening in your fourth house. Because there's so much activity in Capricorn, um, not the least your ruler is going through Capricorn and is going to meet up with Pluto. So conjunct Pluto, the planet of transformation, during the middle of the month. So a lot of Librans, uh, especially those who have a Libra ascendant, um, are going to, especially those who have uh, a Libra ascendant around 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 degrees of Libra, are going to sense that because their rule of Venus is going towards Pluto very slowly. It's going towards Pluto around the 15. So you will be feeling that the second week, third week of, uh, of the month. And what does it mean? It means that for a lot of Librans, there's going to be a transformation. And um, there's going to be a very deep transformation because Pluto is in the house, in, in the deepest house. It's, it's in your house, literally, but it's also your core. So it means that there's going to be a shift uh, at the deepest core and it could have to do with love. So it could have to do with, with um, that you transform through love because that's what it's all about. Venus and Pluto conjuncting is trans transformation through love, through someone that you love very deeply, that you transform and that you get up a level. So that is very, um, it could be a, a bit of an intense period that you know, old things from long time ago are going to come into the surface again and you uh, encounter yourself on a very deep level. But actually that's very good for you. Um, so that's very intense. It's going to be an intense month, I think, for Librans. And um, so with that, also the sun is transiting your fourth house, Mercury is transiting your fourth house. So if you are living in, a, in another country, um, it could be uh, possible that you are going to visit your homeland or that you're going to think about the past because Mercury is the planet of thinking and in the fourth house maybe you're going to 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 watch old photos or, or something like that or old vi videos about yourself and your family so it's good to get in touch with your roots again because that makes you feel good and makes you feel very um, very rooted uh, into this uh, planet Earth. And um, after all this very intense stuff, um, in addition, a lot of those plans are going to shift into your fifth house, which is a lot of fun because fifth house is the house of fun. It is the house of self-expression. It is the house of sexuality. And Mars in there, well, do I need to say more? Um, it is a house of taking action in sports. It is a house of taking action with your children, uh, spending time with them, not battling with them, because that could be the case as well with Mars in there. Um, it is the time of starting a new business of your own, because Mars is action. And the fifth house is also uh, our hobbies or our own projects that we're doing. So it's a good time to do that already in January because the whole month Mars is going to be in Aquarius in your fifth house um, of self-expression. It could be the first week a bit frustrating, that fifth house, because it's squaring up to, um, uh, to Saturn and, um, uh, and Saturn is, uh, uh, is in Scorpio. So it could mean that um, the first week, just only the first couple of days of January, um, you're going to feel that so and I mean the action that you want to take that it's not always you know it's not always going very smoothly 
But after that, um, the energy of Saturn and uh, squaring up uh, to um, uh, to your Mars is 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 uh, is uh, is disappearing. And because Saturn is in your second house, it could mean that it has something to do with your self worth as well. So self worth gaining through things that you like to do. Um, so that's nice. What else? I think that's the most important thing. So a very intense month for you, um, Librans, and uh, having the date of that other Uranus person in the seventh house, whether you have a relationship or not, the people that you are attracting in your life are Uranus-like, so are a bit original. And that suits very well with that fifth house, Aquarius, Mars in there, um, because the thing that you want to, you want to express yourself in a different way in an original way, because that's what it's all about with Aquarius. It's about freedom and it's about liberating yourself. And uh, that goes very well with that Venus, your ruler, conjuncting the planet of transformation during the middle of the month. So, a lot to look forward to. I wish you all the best, you nice Librans out there, and uh, see, you, uh, see you soon. Or if you are interested, in seeing the yearly horoscopes they are already out and if you're interested in a personal reading please get in touch and uh, let me know thank you very much see you next month bye bye